Greetings to all of you, man. It is really a, a joy, it's a pleasure to be greeting and always bringing this message of emancipation to you, whereby I'm pointing to look inwardly to discover that your real identity is your divinity. And that is why today I want to speak to you concerning mass psychosis all around the world. And more specifically, I want to show you what is happening currently in my country and I will make sure to provide a link for you that you can check it out and see the other videos that are there that are circulating on the internet concerning what would have happened in my country just uh, Thursday okay and so this mass psychosis that is happening all around the world is taking place among the ruled and the rulers. And all of this has been made possible because the people have chosen to believe a lie. They have chosen to believe in an illusion or an illusionary world instead of being in touch with the real world of their inner self. Thus the reason why most people in my country, they believe in secular Christianity. They believe in looking outwardly. They believe in a man in the sky. They believe in a savior of 2,000 years ago and find themselves trapped in a place whereby they are the ruled and we see those who check them into not believing in themselves, acting as their rulers, and has become totalitarian uh, leaders, and have kept them in a, in a place of to, to, totalitarianism, okay? A form of government whereby the people have become so dependent on their so-called leaders and look up so much to their so-called leaders that they have put them in a place whereby they see them almost as gods, okay, ruling over them. And so it have come to a place now through the whole pandemic, scamdemic that is going on in the world that they are now imposing certain laws upon them to bring them to their knees to take the mark of submission, the mark of surrender. The mark whereby you're saying that you are no longer in control of yourself. You're no longer can in control of your mind and you're giving your mind to them because they know the best for you. Okay. And they have your health and, 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 and your wealth and everything. Okay. In their hands and they can do whatever they please. So this is what is happening right now in my country where they have gone into the parliament to pass a bill where they used to have the word voluntary and they're going to move the word voluntary and replace it with mandatory in order to have the uh i'm trying to remember the name of the the bill uh, I, i'll tell you in a while it's called the uh public health act okay so there's a public health act that deals with pandemic and sickness and so on and vaccination and so on and it used to be there used to be a word in the clause that says voluntary they're going to move it to put it mandatory so that the frontline workers in this country who are all working under the government like those are working at the airports the ports the policemen the nurses the doctors all of these kind of people that they must be vaccinated or lose their jobs. And those who have their religious beliefs, they said that they would look to see if they can replace them from being a frontline worker to work a different area in the government if they find somewhere, if they cannot find anywhere that they will lose their jobs. And I'm living in a country that they claim to, 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 to be a Christian nation and they believe in God. I've seen so many of these Christians, so-called Christians, that were part of this whole demonstration and allowed themselves to get caught up in this whole mass 
psychosis that's happening all around the world because all of them would have lost their minds and failed to realize that if they make the right decision of being a ruler over themselves, even if it means losing their jobs, losing their homes, or losing whatever things that they put value on, they need to realize that there's no, nothing that is more valuable than themselves. There's nothing that is more valuable than your soul. What shall it profit a man if he gains this whole world and he loses his soul, his soul, he loses his mind, he loses himself, he loses control of himself? And so when you look at this, uh, uh, what should I say, uh, clip or whatever that I'm, I will provide for you, okay, because I didn't want to get too caught up in what is really happening here, right here in my country, okay, but whenever I provide the link for you, you would see what is going on and how the Prime Minister was wounded, he got, you know, his head burst, you know, from demonstrators who were demonstrating, and he ended up in the hospital, they had to fly him out to Barbados uh, for do some treatment, and I want to believe, because today right now i'm making this video i want to believe he 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 is back in the country okay but i'm saying all of this to show you what is really happening and for for years people like myself have been you know trying to wake people up to get people to believe in themselves and stop looking to a god outside of themselves and i've been doing so much you know, work and posting so much videos and, and, and the internet, more than a, 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 a thousand videos I've posted and the people call me crazy, they call me insane. But I want you to look at, at the clips that you will see and the internet, I'll provide just one link I believe for you and then you can you can find all the others, okay? As long as you, have, as you can type in like the name of St. Vincent and the Grenadines and the Prime Minister or the PM and so on. As a matter of fact, they would have called him in the last election, which was just um, December, last, just last year right there. Okay, they called him Wall Bass, Five Star General. All of these things have been ruling over the people for 20-something years now. Okay, I have to say the people, not me. I'm just living here. <laughs> I don't get involved in politics, religion, and those things, okay? And so, now... He have passed, the, the bill has already been passed and all of these people done all of these things and, and, and give away all of their energy and their emo everything they give away. You understand yet? It's all been fruitless. Because not until you take control of your mind and learn to control yourself and be satisfied and contented in whatever state that you are that you will be able to realize how powerful you are. Not until you learn to give up these things. And you're not afraid of death. You're not afraid of poverty. You must conquer the ghost of fear. All of these ghosts of fear that you're believing in and holding on to. You have to conquer them. That's why I want to say how grateful I am that I, you know, I grew up in a time where, you know, we used to walk naked. We used to walk bare feet. And, and, and we go under the fruit trees and get fruits, mangoes and, and, and plums, orange, you name it, all the different kind of fruits we get to eat. And because we grew up in that kind of way, we know how to live. And I want to say how grateful I am that I never get caught up in the rat race. I get caught up in what they, they refer to as the dog, the dog world. A world whereby you're fighting for survival. And I want to encourage those of you who are listening to me not to get caught up with all the baits that are there and, 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 and the internet that making you want to get caught in get rich quick scheme and believe if you get rich that it would shape your life in any kind of way that would make you, you know, like don't have to face the world and the things of the, 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 the world that you have to face every day. The only thing is that it will give you a certain kind of feeling. And it's very important to have that kind of feeling. But I'm saying to you the most important thing is to know yourself. Know you are. Know who you are. Don't just get chopped in intellectualism. Because one of the reasons why people like me will be seen, seen as crazy before these people's eyes because they're too intellectual. You can't even reason to them. They have too much education. 
which is the wrong form of education I'm speaking about. Okay, the education in terms of the academic kind of education when they go to school and they teach them what to think, but they never teach them how to think because no one can teach you how to think. You have to learn how to think for yourself. And that is what is going on right now in my country, as you would see. And that's why I always say to you to look inwardly and realize that your real identity is your divinity and to free yourself from secular Christianity. Because the Bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically. So when this mass psychosis that is taking place all around the world, we see protesters all around the world doing so many different things. Yet, these bills will still be passed. These laws will still be passed. And if some people would only stop and think, they would realize that, hey, if I only give up and trying to hold on, to these temporal things that are just illusional and I let go. It is a blessing in disguise. You see, many people, they have loans and mortgages all above their heads. And those who set this whole agenda, they own the banks, they own the, me this, the media, everything they, they, they own, which is the wall of illusion. They actually own the wall of illusion when you think more deeply. And when they get you to believe so much in this whole wall of illusion, they catch you in this mass psychosis where you're losing your mind that's what's happening totalitarian government is taking over the entire world that's why you have to be in control of your world be in control of your mind okay you have a gift you have a talent you have something that you can use to bless humanity many people feel like if the whole world gonna end if they lose their jobs because they have mortgages and they have loans to pay but not until you let go that you would realize that you are entering into a world of possibilities. And I'm speaking from experience. Sometimes it doesn't tell you you give up a job. Sometimes it doesn't tell you tell someone, hey man, go fuck yourself. You understand? You're not going to walk over me. Playing some bass over me. And I always say a, a, a bass is like a diaper. I always in the ass and, and, and usually full of shit. And I'm not saying everybody who's a, bar, who, who's a boss or who's an employer. But most of them are like that. Okay? And they want to always keep you control. Not until you take a stance. And you say to yourself, I don't care what happens. I'm going to take this stance. I'm speaking from, as I tell them, speaking from experience. I remember, I wrote a book called Book Member Resort and the Messenger. Where I, that was the very first time I got to really be around, you know, white people. See how white people really see black people and how they treat black people. And how black people they see themselves, okay, and how they don't put as much value on themselves, and they put more value on money on themselves, and I walk out of that job, I told them, I'm not an indentured servant, I told them I don't have no slave mentality, and I told them everything will be provided for me, and things did be, uh, was provided for me, when I was working at the post office, the same thing, I worked at the post office for 17 years, and I used to always beat my chest and say, I'm Mr. Clean. I never stole. I've never got myself in any kind of thing in the post office except for my mouth. Because <laughs> I used to tell them just as it is. And they didn't like it. But I used to all tell them, I'm the only man that's going to walk out of the post office with a check. And I did walk out with a check for all the years I worked for. And all the others who are afraid to lose their jobs. They end up in, in all kinds of situations. Even now, they have to go and take the job. The JAB and they lose their job. So, my brothers and my sisters, I'm saying all of this to tell you many times when people get caught up in this kind of uh, mass kind of psychosis and they've been so deceived, they fail to realize not until you take what they refer to as risk that you could ever be successful. That, that, not until you do that, you'll be able to tap into your, to, to your abilities that are there hidden. But most people don't know that. They're looking at the, the loans and the mortgages and they're looking at everything that is negative. Yet, many of these people are religious people and they are political minded. So, my brother, my sisters, you know, I just want to share these little words of wisdom with you and I want to say to you, please take control of your mind. It is better to die being free than to die a slave. So with that being said, I want to thank you very much. And I want to say to you, if this is the very first time that you're listening to me, and what I'm saying, it makes sense to you, it resonate, it really resonating with you, and you haven't subscribed already, I'm encouraging you to subscribe, to like, to comment, and to share this video. So with that being said, I want to say peace, love you all, I'm out.